Good morning, Sharks. I'm Ryla. And I'm Ava. Today we're at the RP Funding Center to support the Lakeland Magic, our city's NBA D League team. On today's show, Chloe will take us behind the scenes with the Magic, and Dallas has a brain-stirring question all about basketball. Plus, Bria has school announcements, and Bradley finds out what sports the Sharks want to see in Lakeland. I'm so excited to be here for today's home game. Me too. As a member of our Lady Sharks varsity basketball team, I plan to take some tips back to our coach. That's a great idea. Let's see what Chloe found out when she spent some time with the Magic players, staff, and fans. Here she is with today's top story. Thanks, Chloe. Now I have great tips to take back to my coach. You know who else has great tips? Who? Dallas. She's going to teach us how math and basketball go hand in hand in today's brain strain question. I've been playing basketball for seven years, and I didn't know math got into basketball like that. You weren't the only one who learned something new. Bria also has some new information for us. Let's head on over to today's Shark Scoop for the important announcement. There's nothing like sitting in the stands and cheering your home team on to victory. I wish Lakeland had more G League sports teams. Let's go to the hot topic with Briley to see what sports the Sharks want to see come to our city. We would like to thank the Lakeland Magic for hosting us at today's home game. I can't wait to see how they do this season. Make sure to check out the Lakeland Magic website to purchase your tickets for upcoming home games. I'm Ava. And I'm Ryla. Have, Have a three-point three weekend, weekend, Sharks! Howdy, cousin! I ain't seen you in forever. I just need to give you a big old hug. Ew, what's on your shirt? Now it's on mine, too. A little dirt won't hurt no one. If you say so. We're going to have so much fun this weekend. I'm going to teach you how to feed the horses, collect the eggs, and maybe a little line dancing, too. That doesn't sound like very much fun. I thought we were going to watch makeup tutorials or something. That stuff is for them city girls. We're going to have much more fun farm style. What are these for? We're going to be sleeping in the wilderness tonight. Now that crosses the line. I am not sleeping outside. Fine, we'll sleep in here. Now I'm going to get a root beer. Whoa, 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 what do you think you're doing? Watch where you're walking. What are them doing these for anyways? I'm glad you asked. This is my sleeping mask, so no light interferes with my beauty sleep. This is my noise maker. It blocks out any noise from interfering with my beauty sleep. These are my pillows that keep me comfortable during my beauty sleep. Well, that seems like a little much. Okay, well, how do you sleep? Like this. Ryla, Ryla, I can't believe you went to sleep that fast. That must be all that fresh air. What are you doing? It's two in the morning. I got a big roping competition next week, so I gotta practice. Go to bed now, or go outside in the wilderness to practice your roping. Fine. Ava! Ava! What is that annoying noise? It's me, you silly goose. Get up and put your boots on. It's time to go take care of the horses. But I don't have boots. Then you can borrow mine. But I don't want to wear boots. They won't match any of the dresses I packed. Dresses? You can't wear dresses on the farm. Well, then I don't got anything to wear. Looks like I'll be giving you a country makeover. <clears throat> this is so unfashionable. If my friends saw me like this... Who cares what your friends would think? They're not here about to have the fun that we're going to have. Yeah, I guess you have a point, except this is not going to be fun at all. Yes, it will. Trust me. Now, come on. First, we're going to feed the horses. That's disgusting. Plus, I'm going inside and changing out of this horrible outfit. No, you're not. I'm not feeding anything except myself. Come on, Ava. Just try it. Fine. Hey, that's not so bad. See, I told you. Now that we've collected the eggs, we'll have something to eat for breakfast. No, 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 no. I'm vegan. What does that mean? It means I only eat fruits and veggies. No wonder you're so weak. You need to have some protein and do some activities or something. For your information, I do an activity. It's called being a beauty queen. And it takes a lot of skill. We need to finish up these morning chores before we can do anything else. Oh, so much work. Well, I can't seem to win with you, can I? Let's do something you think is fun. This brush is so itchy. Stop being a baby. It's time for you to grow up and be a woman. Done. You like it, don't you? It's okay. It's better than okay. See, it's fun to be a city girl, too. I guess you're right. Next time, you gotta come to the city, so you can do more what a city girl does. You don't want to come back here? Uh, no. You wake up too early, and you're always doing something to get your hands dirty. But taking care of the horses was fun. 
Fine, I'll come to the city next time. Yay, it's going to be so much fun. Bye. Bye, Ava. <laughs> that crazy girl. Good morning, Sharks. I'm Ryla. And I'm Ava. Today, we're here at the Lakeland Farmer's Market. This takes place every Saturday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. in downtown Lakeland. We're so lucky to live in such a beautiful city with so many activities. That's right. The next thing we have to try is the food truck rally. I've always wanted to go to one. I've heard such great things about it. Lucky for you, TSC News reporter Chloe has all the information about Lakeland's food truck rally and today's top story. You have to try this. Um, Ava, you. Sorry, I got a little carried away. This is just really good. And there are so many vendors to choose from. If you had your own food truck, what would you sell? Nachos. Oh, I would sell burgers. Let's go see what the culinary students would sell in their food trucks with Dallas in today's classroom spotlight. I'm so full. What about dessert? Did I say I was full? I always have room for dessert. While we find a good dessert booth, let's go to the Shark Scoop with Abby for today's announcements. I have bad news. What? We don't have enough money for dessert. That is pretty bad, but it's your fault because you kept buying all that good food. I'm sorry, it was just so delicious. My mom's around here somewhere. We're going to go find her while you watch today's Hot Topic with Riley. We can get our dessert now. Finally, I've been looking forward to this all morning. We hope you enjoyed our show here at the Lakeland Farmer's Market. If you've never been before, you should really come when you have a free Saturday. Make sure to watch TSC News next week for shows about cruises, baking fails, and behind the scenes of our school's cafeteria. I'm Ryla. And I'm Ava. Have, have a, a wonderful, wonderful weekend, weekend, Sharks. Here we are. It's so roomy in here. I know. I love having a big room, but it's just really stressful to move. Yeah, I can understand. Um, I've never seen this before. Maybe the movers mixed up the boxes. I don't think so. The rest of the stuff is mine. It's probably just the heirloom your parents found in the attic. I'll put it over here for now. Hi, Ava. Thanks for the help. See ya. Izzy. Ava, I'm so glad you're here. The doll's chasing me, and I don't know where she is. Um, wait. Why are you here? You weren't supposed to find out this way. Find out what? <laughs> Ava, why are you doing this? I'm not Ava. I'm Primrose the doll. You left me 87 years ago, Agatha, when you were 10 and never came back. You took something from me, so I took Ava from you. I don't know what you mean. I'm not this Agatha you speak of, and I've never had a doll like you before. But I knew it was you the second I was unloaded from that truck. If I was Agatha, I would be 97 years old. And do I look 97 to you? But I can help you try and find her. I'll believe you when I see her for myself. Cut me loose, and I promise I'll do the best I can to find her. What was her last name? Miles. Oh, here it is. Oh, sorry. But it says she died 87 years ago. That's why she never came back. The internet looks helpful and all, but you can't believe everything that's on there. You can always believe what you find on the internet. I don't think so. I need to rest. I can only hold a charm for so long. I'm going to go take a nap. Don't go anywhere, though. I'm not through with you yet. The internet's good for lots of other things, too. You were possessed by a doll, and your eyes were glowing, and you're really mean, and you tried to kill me. Are you insane? No, I'm not. I'll explain to you in the morning. Your mom's outside. Okay, bye. See ya. I'm going to bed. It's been a long night. 
I remember that book. I miss being able to read books like those from our childhood. There isn't an age limit on these books. Anyone can read them, even if they are children's books. It's sad that many kids around our community don't have access to storybooks. In fact, that's what today's show is about. Our schools, SCCLA, with the help of other clubs, are setting up little libraries to provide books for kids in the community. That sounds very cool. Let's go to Chloe with today's top story to learn more about these little libraries. Who's the author of that book? Dr. Seuss. He was my favorite author as a kid. Oh, most of my childhood books were in my roll doll. There are many children's authors like R.L. Stein, Eric Carle, and Judy Bloom. Let's head on over to today's Brainstream with Dallas to learn more about children's authors. We have a lot of activities going on at LG next week. It's time to go to Chelsea with today's Shark Scoop to learn more. I need to go home and grab a book for the little libraries. What book are you going to donate? I'm going to donate Goodnight Moon because it used to be my favorite bedtime story. I'm going to donate Whore and Here's a Who because it teaches you how to be a good listener. To learn what book the sharks would donate, let's go to Briley with today's Hot Topic. Thanks to our school's SCCLA with the help of other clubs for working so hard on the little libraries. They will definitely benefit those in need in our community. Make sure to watch TSC News next week for shows about Halloween, the importance of school IDs, and Lakeland's best barbecue. I'm Ryla. And I'm Ava. Have, Have a, a wonderful, wonderful weekend, weekend, Sharks.